Good morning from Osaka. It's about 6.30 in the morning and today we're going to check out Osaka Airport or Itami Airport. Uh, this is a domestic airport in the Kansai area. It doesn't handle any more international flights since uh, 94 when Kansai Airport opened. So uh, we're going to be flying just a domestic flight here and we're going to be checking out their self-terminal. Uh, the building itself, it's physically one building, but it's separated into both uh, the north part for JAL and the south terminal for ANA. So we're going to check out ANA. So come along, let's check out Itami's airport, south terminal. Like most of my airport videos, it starts with me jumping on an early morning train to the airport. Except in this case, it's almost to the airport. Itami airport, or ITM, is not terribly far, just over 10 kilometers north of Osaka station. Although one of the first airports in Osaka, and the closest to the city, it surprisingly doesn't have direct rail access from the city center. This mild inconvenience requires a transfer to the Osaka monorail for one stop. Normally not a terribly huge issue, however both lines are operated by two different companies and thus two fares are required. If you have the extra time and the weather is nice, you can always just walk the last few hundred meters from the station. If you happen to find yourself walking to this airport like I am today, instead of taking a bus, you can walk by right by the apron. And over here you can see all the nice airplanes there, some nice Bombardiers. It's actually a lot of Q400s. I haven't been on them for, geez, over a year now. I've never been on them in Japan anyways. So yeah, if you find yourself here, just walk right beside the terminal and you can uh, get some nice pictures of the airplane. Also on the other side of the runway, there is a park for plane spotting as well. I can't remember the name of it, but it's there. Um, so if you're into that, you can just get yourself to the other side. There's a tunnel that runs underneath the airport and you can get to the other side of the, the airport to that park there. Simply put, buses are, perhaps, the most straightforward mode of transport to various locations around the Osaka area and there are ticket machines located outside the terminal. Street level, outside, you will also find a few restaurants, a post office, and a Lawson's convenience store. I found the check-in area unique compared to other airports I visited throughout Japan. It's quite large, but somehow feels more of a staging area before actually entering the terminal. Furthermore, there's not much here besides the check-in facilities and some ATMs. There is quite the contrast as we go from this large, spacious check-in area to here. The low ceilings and maroon carpeting is reminiscent of a bygone era. Nonetheless, this area prior to security isn't terribly large, but still manages to host a selection of shops and restaurants. On the second floor, I was told to try the pork buns at the 551 shop. Sadly, the shop opened at 9, well after I made my way gate side. So I'm going to have to return, but if you're here, give it a shot and let us know how they are. I thought the illuminated color signage made it easy for travelers to navigate the terminal. The third floor, the one with the maroon carpet, hosts some restaurants in a single corridor that links the north and south sides of the building as well as the entrance to the Osaka Air Terminal Hotel. Being quite early in the morning, there wasn't much going on here, so I figured it was best to head up to check out the observation deck. So this is the observation deck, and it's actually really nice compared to some other ones I've been at. There's obviously nice views, but there's also nice uh, planters and, and flowers growing along, and a lot of rosemary too. It smells fantastic. I just want to take a little bit of that rosemary and put it on a piece of beef or a piece of lamb or something. It smells really good. But uh, yeah, this is the observation deck and here is their mascot. There's the Itami mascot, I forget the name of it, but he's hanging over, over there with all the flowers and herbs. I'm gonna continue and jump downstairs. Navigating gate side is fairly straightforward as it's essentially one long terminal with a few branches throughout. Compared to the street side, 
I was quite surprised with the bright, inviting area after security. The path meanders a short distance before opening up to the food court. The food court has some nice seating along with regular dining tables, and it was early morning so I snaggled a $6 bento for breakfast. One thing I like is that you never have to worry about paying an arm and a leg in an airport in Japan for a meal. Prices are always very reasonable. Anyway, like passengers, it's a good idea to hang out here before heading off to your gate. Once you leave this area, there aren't any more shops, and the sign at the end kind of reminds you of this. Down an escalator, and a short walk later, I arrive at gate 9 for my flight. The gate appeared newly renovated and the seating was spaced out compared to other terminals I've been in. Perhaps this will be more of a common sighting from now on. Each gate had plenty of space to connect and charge a device, along with a variety of seating options. I also took this time to dig into that morning bento. The piers have yet to be renovated, and we can get a glimpse of what the airport looked like prior to the renewal. They even still employ the split flap display, which I thought was pretty cool and very iconic of airports. Past the food court, there aren't too many amenities or things to do to pass the time. Mayonnaise lounge can be accessed under the escalator. Of course with the high volume of passengers for Tokyo, the ticket machines for the trains are also available. And there's also a few nifty vending machines throughout. The terminal is fairly long and I doubt many travelers walk the entire length for fun. Between gates is mostly quiet empty space at this time. Nonetheless, I enjoyed poking around. Overall, ITM is a very easy airport to navigate. It's a bit different compared to other airports in the country, as I recommend spending most of your time past security. I think they're doing a great job renovating the airport. The new areas are fresh, vibrant, and welcoming, and I'll be excited to see it once it's all complete. As we depart, I think that about does it for Osaka International Airport. I hope you enjoy a look inside the terminal, and I hope wherever you are, you can start traveling sometime soon. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you around next time.